Here's a million dollar question. When production breaks, do you call DevOps or SRE? I bet 90% of you think they are the same thing. Well, stick around because getting this wrong could cost you hours of downtime and I am about to show you exactly who does what and when. So let's break this down super clear. What are these terms and what are they actually about? So DevOps is basically bringing together the people who build software and the people who run the software. It's really that simple. So DevOps brings in the cool stuff like CI, CD pipelines, basically automating how we build, test, and ship code. Now SRE, on the other hand, Site Reliability Engineering, is Google's brainchild from 2003. It's all about using engineering approaches to solve operations problems. Now in the real world, SRE teams focus on things like service level agreements, SLAs, and creating automated systems that can handle problems before they blow up in your face. Okay, so what's actually different between these two, DevOps and SRE? Well, this is where most explanations get wrong. The biggest difference is where they focus. DevOps is all about building the pipeline, getting code from developer's laptop into production without any drama. I like to think of DevOps engineers as highway builders. They are creating the roads that let your code travel smoothly from point A to point B. They are worried about how to build things right. SRE teams, totally different mindset. They are obsessed with what happens after deployment. When stuff breaks at 2 a.m., these are your heroes. Sticking with our highway metaphor, SRE folks are like traffic control and highway patrol. They are monitoring for jams, responding to crashes, and setting up systems to prevent the pileups before they actually happen. So here's the clear difference. DevOps builds it, SRE keeps it running. The way they approach problems is different too. DevOps is super focused on the development life cycle, writing code, testing, deploying. SRE teams are like detectives. They investigate failures, find patterns, and build systems that prevent repeat disasters. Now, I love this metaphor. DevOps teams are the farmers planting and harvesting crops, which is your code, and SRE teams are like agricultural scientists, which are studying why the crops fail and creating systems for better yields with less manual work. Both love automation, but for different reasons, right? DevOps automates how code gets deployed, while SRE automates the operational tasks that keep it running. Now, even their toolboxes look a little different. DevOps tools are all about CI, CD pipelines and testing. SRE tools focus on monitoring and incident management. So why should your boss care about SRE? Well, let me break down the actual business value now. SRE isn't a cool tech practice. It directly impacts your bottom line in four different ways. First, it dramatically cuts your mean time to recovery, MTTR. When your app crashes, how fast can you get it back up? Think about it like this. Without SRE, a highway accident might close roads for hours. With proper SRE practices, you've got specialized emergency teams who clear that crash in minutes. Next is reducing mean time to detect problems, MTTD. The SRE approach is all about catching issues before they affect all your users. It's like sending a scout car ahead on a new road to spot potholes before the main traffic hits them. Simple, but brilliant, right? Third is automation of repetitive operations. Look, I've worked at places where engineers were manually restarting servers at 3 a.m. That's insane. SRE replaces human traffic controllers with smart traffic systems that automatically optimize flow. Less human error, more consistency, and engineers who can actually sleep at night. 
And finally, SRE creates systems for faster incident resolution. When something new breaks, you're not starting from zero. It's like having an expert repair manual for your entire system instead of mechanics guessing what might be wrong every single time. But here's what's fascinating. Despite these different roles, DevOps and SRE really work together for the same ultimate goal, reliable software systems. Both are trying to break down walls between developers and operations. They are just attacking the problem from different angles, building versus maintaining. They share tons of the same tools for planning, version control, and monitoring. And when stuff hits the fan, they collaborate on incident responses and system improvements. Think of them like construction engineers and building inspectors, different expertise, completely independent roles, and same goals of safe functional structures. Now here's something that blows people's minds. Which of these, SRE or DevOps, came first? Well, SRE came first. Google created it back in 2003, while DevOps didn't become a thing until years after. Today, smart companies use DevOps as the big picture approach with SRE practices fitting inside it. Different jobs, same family. DevOps brings code to life, SRE keeps it alive. Now, let me crush your two biggest myths about SRE and DevOps. SRE is replacing DevOps. Absolutely not. That's like saying air traffic controllers are replacing pilots. They're different roles in the same system. Now here's the second myth. DevOps is becoming obsolete. No, absolutely not. It's evolving, just like your phone gets better each year, but still makes calls. The fundamentals stay crucial while the implementation gets smarter. Bottom line, you need both. DevOps builds the highways, SRE manages the traffic. Now companies that nail this combination ship faster and breaks less stuff. It's not about choosing one, it's about making them work together. Now smash that like button if this cleared things up for you and drop your questions in the comments section below and subscribe for more content on cloud and AI. Thanks, bye.